Welcome to another Fuel Injection Idle Banter podcast-ish today. It's a little different. It's just going to be me. I'm going to be doing a, um, a React video. So there's this place in England. It's called Rufford, Flo- uh, Rufford Ford, and it's known to have one of the worst flooding really at all. In fact, if you can see here, it actually is so, um, it gets so bad that yes, they have um, measurement to tell exactly how high up uh, the floodwaters are because they can get up to about as high as that bridge. So anyway, today we're going to be watching the most popular video on Tom Sunderland's channel. He's one of the sort of the go-to guys, if you will, the wizard of Rufford Ford. And he's got some of the coolest content on it. So that's what we're going to be, sort of be looking at today. Give me one second. I'm just going to move something real quick. Grab a charger for my phone. But uh, when we do that, let's get on with it. Shall we get on with the show? Let's do that. So, you watch. Ooh. Um. He's stuck. Look at how high that is. Almost three feet high off the ground. Oh my god. In fact, that BMW, that's floating. I believe that BMW is actually floating right there. I don't know if you can see it. And now his electrics are becoming British, even though it's German. Oh my god, look at all that car's toast. Oh, Oh, even though actually you had that mirror cap, you kind of deserve it. I'm just kidding. No, that's, that's painful to watch. No, that's a lot of damage. For sale, I know what I I know what I have and uh, gently used. Ooh, what had a nice interior? Had a nice interior too. Don't have a does not have a nice interior anymore. Jeez, that's painful. Come on, little Reno. Wee oui, wee, oui, you can do this. It's only two feet off, off the ground. Oh, no, you can't. That's not fun. As James May would say, does that mean he's not coming on then? Well, James, he's been swept away by the river and his little Reno is uh, being French. And uh, is it running? Oh, wait, hold on. That's minus protein. Oh, it's coming back to. Bleh. That didn't sound good. You hear that? No, let's go back. Oh, that's really not good. My question is like, why do people still go through? I mean, I know you got you to the other side, but surely there's another way around that isn't underwater. The other logic is, why is there a bridge to the right? Oh, Range Rover. Let's see. Can you do it, Range Rover? No problem at all. Are you sure about that? It's not Range Rover. It's a Land Rover Disco. Bruh. It's got a little, got a little uh, smoke coming out of it. Is it good or just blocked off? We might not be. That Disco might be toast. Take it slow. So the strategy with this is you don't want it splashed up against the windshield. Because then that happens. If I had like an off-road car, like a Land Rover Discovery or something like that, or even like a pickup truck, I'd be charging 50 quid each to get someone out of there. Just saying. It's so bad that I think it might have an electronic parking brake. Because if you can see, like, it's kind of it struggling to, like, move forward. At one point, the back wheels look like they, uh, looks like they locked up. But, uh, oh, God. Why do people do this? Why do people do this? Slow and steady, buddy. Come on, little, uh, is that escape? Yeah, I think that's an escape. And the escape, uh... Let's say you, 
Tuga. Ah, that's that's a dead car. She's hydro locked. Rolling back too, so it could be. It's probably standard transmission. I forgot. Yeah, the UK is a lot of it's standard. Ooh. Nope, 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 nope. Citroen. Might have it. Might have it. Yeah, it's got it. Oh, it doesn't look too good. Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. That's like that's like even stuff. That's like steam. I think. I don't. I don't know. It was at this moment Shoot. that he knew he fucked up. No, no, monsieur. Oh, God, there's a mini. Hold on, is she doing it? Slim little mini. She's doing it. Look at the lady go. With the Ford. Gotcha, bitch. I spoke too soon and Hydro locked at the very end. Electrical issues. Why don't they just build the bridge like slightly outwards, you know? Make life a lot better. Yeah, the key is shit. If the key gets stuck, that's a problem. Yeah, it did. Oh, that's why he the defender is no problem, he's a snorkel. This is just painful to watch. This is torture if you like cars. Come on, slow in, slow in, slow in. You're too fast, too fast. So it like depends on like where the intakes are like sort of mounted on the engine. Uh, a lot of them are going to be like in the front by the grill. Usually, uh, sort of down lower is like the intercooler. Usually, like you don't want if the intakes like Power intakes are like higher up on like a Range Rover, they'll put them sort of towards the back of the hood, so uh, it won't have that issue. Jeep just goes through no problem because it's a Jeep. It's a Jeep thing you want to understand. Tesla, interesting. Yep, Jess is going through. So, okay, I'm going to pause that right right quick. Uh, we're going to go back to the Tesla real quick. Because uh, a lot of people wonder how the Tesla does things like that. So it sort of just goes right through it like there's nothing going on. The way a Tesla will do that is because the battery pack is sealed, right? And the electronics and all that stuff are sealed. So it's it's effectively Elon Musk has jokingly said you can use it as boat. However, like don't you avoid your warranty? But as a result, like there's no there's no air that needs to come in, which means there's no way to hydro lock the engine. You know, still wouldn't recommend it, but you could get in better than like a gas vehicle just because you don't have the opening for that. Still don't do it. There's a fuel injection top tip. Do not drive your car through deep water like that. And especially don't drive through like an imbecile like maybe. Oh, that's uh he should be fine. He's got a rangy or a Land Rover. He's got a Land Rover. That's a that's a disco, actually. This is a rangy. Oh. If you kill this thing, I swear to piss. Not we've gone through. <laughs> What could go wrong here? Oh, you got it. Oh, one of them doesn't got it. Oh, that's a lot of smoke coming out there, buddy. Look at that. He's not even getting wet at all. Hold on. Hold on, yep, oh, he got it. And he's away. 
A lot of smoke coming out the back, though. So take the two-point position if anyone knows a question. You'll know what I mean. Look at that. Too fast. Is it? Well, golly, it isn't. Come on, Disco Boy. Go a little slower. Oh, you're through. Perfect, no problem. Yep, that's the right approach. Slow, don't really kick up a weight because you won't have stuff go through your front. He's following the same tactic. He can go a little quicker. So reason he's not having that issue is if you look like right here, he's got like the scoop. So the, the snorkel is actually instead of having the intake speed like down here, which is what's causing the other cars to hydrolock when the water goes over the bonnet, it's up here. Uh, which means technically, unless like up to the windshield, or as in Britain they call it the windscreen, um, you'd be you'd be pretty fine to go through that. Still, probably shouldn't do it when your whole car is under the water, but uh, you could if you had to, you know. Sort of like a Tesla, sort of things that you could, but you probably shouldn't. He's made through no fault. That was actually one of the fellas telling the other guys out, so it's no surprise that it rangy. Slowly. Now, Range Rovers have like an onboard system of sonar that tells you like how deep the water is and like where you can go. Is that a Toyota? It's a Toyota pickup. Is that the Eurospec? That's a Hilux, yeah, that's a Hilux. I thought it was like a Hilux or a Tacoma, but it has to be a Hilux. Kia Sportage. Slow and steady. We all banged up from something else, but at least we got through this. Oh, look at you, Porsche. Good. Thinking it through. Slow and steady. Bend away. It seems like people who've gone through it before, or just people who like maybe they have water experience or whatever, like they know to go slowly. You don't want to have that wake going through. Come on, uh, Defender, this should be nothing for you. Again, all the off roady people seem to know you take a slow line in. And just keep like a consistent speed. You don't want to stop because then you get stuck. But you want to just sort of quickly, quick enough to get through it and not like float away, but slow enough where you don't clog your engine. Sorry about that. That sounds about as British as it comes. Ding, 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 ding. It's probably a diesel though. Uh, manual transmission is going through. Ooh, look at that. No problem. Mitsubishi, what is that? Outlander. Outlander, yep. So I'm steady, and it's away. Again, you cannot have the water splash up over the dash. It'll kill the car. Toyota, also got a snorkel. Shouldn't be a problem. I think that's, uh, is that a Land Cruiser Prado? Yeah. No, it's actually Land Cruiser. It's not a product, I don't think. I think it's just a regular Land Cruiser. No problem there. It comes again. Take two. Slowly just glug, glug, glug. Straight through. Power out. That's pretty high up. Look at that, it's going over onto like the sidewalk and stuff. That's fearsome. So that was Rufford 
Ford Flood, and this is part 48 from the channel. We're going to look at part 49, and we're going to see what comes next. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked Stupid. up. Stupid. Not only do I think he got stuck, bruh, but if from the looks of it, that's the rule. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So that side thing is actually the the Ford itself. A lot of smoke coming out. He might uh he might have fudged it. That ah, through. It's 30 for a reason. It's not actually 30 for the kids, I don't think. It's actually 30 because you kill your car if you don't do 30. Slowly, slowly. Skoda. Uh, right, Skoda. Um, ooh, Fiesta. Come on, Fiesta. Dead. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Think about how small the bonnet is. It's so easy to get the water in. He's toast. It's a light car. <laughs> Push for it, buddy. We should take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else. <laughs> That's it. Hey, look at that. A community effort right there. Yeesh. And from there, somebody pulled it out of a boat. The high looks behind it, just like, oh, what's going on here? Keep on trucking. There's the Defender doing its work. Transit van going a little too fast. Kids are very excited to see that. Dead. <laughs> Kid goes, you suck. <laughs> oh, kids got better reactions than I do. Oh, jeez. Slow and steady. Yep, just wade through. Keep it below the Ford logo. Uh, we got a kid in the back, too. Mondeo is through. With a little bit of damage, but I don't know what that would do to a car. I'm going to the more mechanically adept fuel injectioners are on today, so... Just Mr. Mechanically Inept over here, trying to figure things out and sort it out. Slowly, 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 slowly. Kid in the back of that uh, Mondeo is like, what's all the fuss about? Ooh, Audi, come on, Quattro. No problem. Are you sure about that? Oh, maybe a problem. Oh, well, that's just unfair. We're just don't drown in this. Poo is coming out. That horse is having a poo. Oh, God. That horse has decided that's the moment to do it. But at least they got the right idea. I mean, they got ground clearance. <laughs> Even if occasionally some emissions come out. <laughs> that F pace is toast. Hurt to a JCW mini. Oh, 
Oh, there's a BMW from last video still there. So before it got towed away, here's a Range Rover Sport, maybe an SVR. Yeah, that's actually yeah. That that F taste is straight in the middle of the way. My brother in Christ, that is they're not gonna. Ooh, oh, that, that's smart. That's smart. Climbing up. He's Range Rover stuff. Ooh, that Citroen's going to get stuck behind the, uh, he doesn't have the clearance of the other guy. Oh, he might get in trouble here. Will he get through? No, I don't think. Is he? Uh, at that point, don't even bother. Boosh. Maniac. Maniac. The Rovers love this. <laughs> Is that, uh, what was that? It's, uh, Maniac. Toyo, uh, is that a, no, that's a Range Rover. That's uh, another Range Rover. Maniac. Splash. Kabang. Goodbye. Oh, here we go. <laughs> He's just having Maniac. fun at this point. Oh, no. Slowly, slowly. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Too fast. Did he make it? No, I never. Round two, baby. So he's got a snorkel too. He should be fine. Just cruising through there. Don't mind if I do. This is why my favorite Land Rover is the Defender. The original, like, A110. I love those things. Come on, little Fiesta. You got this. Slowly, slowly, slowly. He's doing it right. He's going slow. She's doing it right. She's through. Oh, he's going to send it, isn't he? Maniac. I would, too, if I had a Hilux. Back when I had the Tacoma, that's what I did. <laughs> uh, I of some sort. Prado, that's a Prado. Uh, Nissan Frontier, or Nissan something or another, I don't know what it is. And then Cruiser round two. Maniac. Prado round three. Oh, mate, you're just having fun. Maniac. Oh, the little rangy that could made it through. Truck. It's a defender of Afton Market Headlights. Let's see how he does. Oh, yeah. No problem whatsoever. So, Peugeot. Peugeot. Uh, Peugeot made it. It's actually the steam coming out of the exhaust might be from the heat of the exhaust with the water. That's a Disco Land Rover. Of course, it's fine. Range Rover, little Range Rover Evoke that could part three. Look at that. What color are you surprised? Ooh, that's quick. But it worked. 
maniac. Range Rover again. Maniac. Gotcha, bitch. Range Rover. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Skoda or uh, some sort of MPV? Oosh, Ford Ranger, I think. No problem at all. Maniac. Defender again. Piece of cake. Go slow. Go slower. I think he's got it. That was fine. Send it. Gotcha, bitch. Ooh. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck that shit, I'm out. That G wagon at the end was just like, nope, that is not what I'm about today. I'm not feeling that. And anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I'm going to go quickly edit this and then I'll put it up online. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, these Rufford Ford uh, floods are amazing. They're great content, they're great to watch. Um, they always make my day when I see them, so I hope they made yours too.